All right, here we go. Question number eight, version 2.0 from our 1316 homework number four in my lab math. And they want us to solve this equation on the interval from zero to two pi. And so what I notice first is that my trig functions don't match. So if at all possible, I need to turn this entire equation into a single trig function. And what I'm going to start with is a Pythagorean identity. I know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. If I move the cosine squared theta to the other side, that will isolate sine squared theta. And then that will give me something to substitute for sine squared theta. So here we're going to have sine squared theta equals 1 minus cosine squared theta. And now I'm going to substitute 1 minus cosine squared theta in place of sine squared theta. The other issue I need to deal with is the negative angle here. I need to make that positive if possible. And so I'm going to be using the even odd property for cosine. And that property says cosine of negative theta is the same as cosine of theta. So if I have cosine of negative theta, I can replace it with cosine of theta. And so that'll give me three times cosine theta plus one. Next step, I now have everything in terms of cosine, which is good. But I do have a quadratic since I have a squared term. And just like you learned back in college algebra, if you have a quadratic equation, you need to set it equal to zero. And also the squared term needs to be positive. So we're going to be bringing the negative cosine squared to the other side. We're also going to be bringing the plus one over so that we can set that equation equal to zero. At the same time, I'm going to go ahead and distribute this three to get rid of the parentheses. So we got a lot of stuff going on here. Okay, I'll go slow. Here we go. Negative cosine squared theta, when it comes over, becomes positive cosine squared theta. And then when I distribute the three, three times cosine of theta makes a positive three cosine of theta. 3 times 1 makes positive 3. And remember that plus 1 coming over, that's going to make minus 1. And then I need to combine like terms. So we're going to have 0 equals cosine squared theta plus 3 cosine theta. And 3 minus 1 is 2. So now we have our quadratic equal to zero. Notice it is also in standard form. And this equation resembles this quadratic, x squared plus 3x plus 2. If I simply replace the cosine thetas with x, that's what this quadratic looks like. We know the easiest way to solve a quadratic is by factoring. So if this trinomial will factor, then I know that my trigonometric equation will also factor. So let's read the signs. Plus at the back means the signs are going to be plus. X and X make X squared. Numbers that multiply to make 2, that add and make 3, 2 and 1. So this trinomial does factor. And now all I have to do is replace each x with cosine theta to get my factored form. So this equation is going to become cosine theta plus 2 times cosine theta plus 1. And now that it's factored, I simply need to set each factor equal to 0 and solve. So cosine theta plus 2 equals 0. 
and cosine theta plus one equals zero. Setting both of those factors equal to zero, and let's see what happens. Moving the plus two over gives me cosine theta equals to negative two, and this particular factor is not gonna produce a solution, and I'll give you a brief explanation why that is. Remember back when we graphed cosine theta? Just the regular trig function, cosine theta, starts at one, one, two, three, four, and by the time you get to two pi, it's back up to one. So the cosine graph, just cosine of theta, looks like this. Do you see that it has to be contained between negative one and uh, one. That means that cosine of theta can never be any value outside of negative one to one. Negative two is not within that range of values, and that's why this factor does not produce a solution. So looking at the other factor, we're gonna move the plus one over, which makes that a minus one. And I can see from this graph that the cosine graph is negative one at pi. I can also see that from the unit circle, the only angle theta in the unit circle that has an x coordinate of negative one is pi. So that's gonna be the only solution on the interval from zero to two pi. And now I'm gonna use Desmos to check that y equals the left hand side and now we're going to grab the right hand side of this equation the solution to this equation will be where these two graphs intersect and we can see that they do intersect at pi. That is the only intersection they have on the interval from zero to two pi. And so that verifies what we did manually. So here the only solution is gonna be pi. And that's done. Man, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.